Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing it all. Yahweh's people dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. Today we celebrate the 14th week in ordinary time. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind all our sins and failures and ask for God's pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contract of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We pray. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. 
Amen. Now let us be attentive to the scripture readings. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exult, exult with her. All you who are mourning over her, oh, that you may suck fully on the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lord, I will spread prosperity over Jerusalem like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, How tremendous are your deeds! Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, His tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed this sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in Him. He rules by His might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what He has done for me. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or His kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Reading from the Book of Galatians Brothers and sisters, may I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither does circumcision mean anything, nor does uncircumcision, but only a new creation. Peace and mercy be to all who follow this rule, and to the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make troubles for me, for I bear the marks of Jesus on my body. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let the peace of Christ control your hearts. Let the Word of Christ dwell in you richly. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. O Lord. The Lord appointed seventy others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if someone of peace is there, your peace will rest on that person, but if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house 
eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves his wage. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is said before you, cure the sick who are there, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet we wipe off in protest against you. You know this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, on that day it will be more tolerable for Sodom than for their town. The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name even the demons submit to us. Jesus said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to May you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My sins and bring me to everlasting life. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, this Sunday we have a beautiful message from Jesus. As we reflect upon this gospel passage, we have to see here Jesus as a good teacher, a good instructor, a good master. Before he set out the travel, Jesus sends out his disciples and give, gives them very beautiful messages that the instruction exactly for his disciples. First of all, he sends them two by two. Then he asks them to pray to the Lord for laborers. Then he puts before them another instruction, trust in God, not in yourself. Then the last message he says to them, you accept or accept everything that you come across in your travel, even rejection. So he prepares them a full heartedly to accept all the problems, the positive and the negative aspects before their travel. So as we uh, reflect upon this gospel passage, we have to bring into our mind one important thing. Am I faithful to this call as a Christian? I am also called to proclaim the good news to everyone, to go whole world. But sometimes it's not practically, it's not possible to go the whole world and proclaim. So Jesus asks, and he says, says to us now, here, right now, what is your role as a Christian? Are you able to proclaim the good news? Good news, not far and wide, but even a person who resides next to you. Are you able to shake his thought patterns and bring the word of God into his mind? Are you able to at least pay a small seed in his heart. And we are to think that our primary duty is not their salvation, but our primer, primary duty is to proclaim the good news because only God can save persons. So it's not our responsibility to save the soul, but it's God's responsibility. Our responsibility is to proclaim announce the good news, trusting in God that he will save every person who 
responds to his call. So the person who listens to you, the person who hears from you will respond to God's call. And of course, he will come to the spirit of Christian salvation. So, my dear brothers and sisters, now let us ask for the apostolic zeal and courage in order to proclaim, announce God's message through our deeds and words. Now let's all profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be, Blessed God, be God, forever. God forever. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash me from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our contact closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the salvation of, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and our bishops and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take 
sins of the world have mercy on us, Lamb of God. of the world grant us your peace May this mingling of the body and blood of all Christ bring it and life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection, mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only but say, only the, say word, the word, my soul shall, my soul be, soul healed. shall be healed. And the body and blood of Christ bring me to Thanks everlasting to life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be Thanks. to God. Have a great day to you all. Ah uh -huh.
before you And I see your smiling face Every thought, every word is lost in your Play.